Hey, Turtle Club. It is I, Max Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and this is a review that's been, um, kind of dragged my feet a little bit on it, and I, I hate that. Uh, you know when you kind of get sidetracked and shiny squirrel, and you forget to do some things, and I've played this game a little bit, and by a little bit I mean like uh, about three or four hours so far, and it's been over, gosh, um... A couple months now. Uh, I got this game installed uh, back in May. Yeah, it has a really awesome Kickstarter that you're doing for it. And it's it's not my usual genre of game, right? This is something that Alienated One's definitely more up for than me. I've been... I keep eyeing RimWorld, right? <laughs> it's on my Steam wish list. It looks nice. It looks pretty. And then it gets taken off my wish list because I'm like, I don't think I'd ever play it. And then it gets back on. Uh, but this is a game very similar to RimWorld with the way it's played. Except for instead of being a crash landing group on the planet, it's in space. Now, I'm going to be drawing a little bit of correlation between this and Meeple Station because I've played Meeple Station a lot more than this. And they're kind of the same, but they're different. Uh, first off, you, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Um, let's increase the volume a bit here. It's got this nice kind of like chill music in the background. Um, and that, you know, kind of kind of a little misleading because, like I said, I've played this you know, a few hours, but I keep dying in a really horrible, horrible death. Um, but we're going to go ahead and actually start recording because I, I kind of got an idea of what I'm dealing with now. So the first thing that happens with this scenario is you are dying. I mean, seriously, storage is full, facility is on power grid, there's no place to rest, there's no tools the facility. My, my people are going to die. Um, and the first thing that you kind of get the idea about is that you need to start building some things for them. Um, and build, production, power. And the first thing you want to do is build, you see we have a generator here. It, we don't have anything connected to it so we need to build this power node so and you'll notice it's nothing's connected by a power and you can only connect things within the green area so that's the first kind of issue I took with this scenario is that I'm really and once you get too far away it's just it's just toast so we're gonna start by building here and they kind of auto connect we're going to build here, and that should provide us power for the most part to everything in the station. But we're going to build one more right here, and that's it. All right, and we're going to, we're going to let them build, and that's the first thing we have to do. We absolutely got to get the power going, and um, so the power nodes are unleaked. So once they get the power nodes installed, the next thing you're going to have to do is have to link them, and linking them. It's pretty easy. Um, Got to remember how to do it, though. Because these poor guys are in the dark. You'll see that they need rest, too. And, I mean, you're, you're basically, at the very beginning of this, you're on a clock. And it's a pretty aggressive clock. All right, so first thing we gotta do is get the power going. And, it, and you can see they're, they're building it. And you can see this has gotta be built next. That's gonna be built next. That's the other thing that's kind of weird is they, they don't build in the order you drop them. They kind of build backwards. Oh, wait a second, I told to attack them. Don't want to attack. And that's the other thing that, you know, if I were very much more um, into the way this worked and, and understood how these kind of things worked, I would be a little bit more, um, like, intelligently deciding how this has to go. So, there it is, it's links. So the next thing we do is we connect here to here, and then we click on there, and we connect here to here, 
click on there. Over here, we connect there to there. And the last thing we do is we connect there to there. And that kind of brings us a chain. You can only have so many links. So you want to have some kind of redundancy. And that's too far away to, to, to connect. All right, so I think we should be okay, though. So, power node, condition. Yeah, so these all have power now. So there's no place to rest. That actually is a super, super more important thing to do next. Uh, environmental conditions, low body temperature, low body temperature. See, these guys are all low body temp. So we need to go over here. We need to go to crew, uh, life support. And wall thermal regulator is try to upkeep a certain temperature per your settings. And so we, we got to kind of get this in a section where it's going to, you know, provide. And, it's, and it, as it is indicated, it's a wall uh, indicator. So, all right, environmental conditions. So they're, they're just cold, so we're good there. All right, and there's no tools facility. So the last thing we need is facilities. And we got a toolkit. Yeah, I, I figure we, we build this toolkit. Um, yeah, we can zoom in a little bit. And it's not that. I know there's a way to rotate these. Ah, right, there it is. F, F. We rotate. And there we go here. All right. You, sir. All right, so. We're good. And hopefully we'll get the toolkit built. So conditions, so we, we see the low body temperature starting to go away. So we got the we got the temp sensor built. Don't know what's going on with that though. Not enough build tools. All right, so this is being built. That's important. You can tell it's being built because you got the little progress bar. So we're good. They're still filling it in. And again, it's it's it's, it's a pretty aggressive clock. I mean, if if you don't know what you're doing, you fumble around like I did for a good half hour or so, you you kind of lose what's going on. I still don't know why Giovanni's just standing there, catching my breath. Bad environment. All right. Giovanni's still cold. He's warming up. All right. So the next thing we need is well let me change the cord on my desk that's in front of my display here all right so awesome awesome um we need to go crew we need to go to furniture and beds Okay, so environment conditions. All right, no place to rest. Chairs and couches. All right, so crew, furniture, couch. These guys are picky, but you know, I kind of like that about them. Okay, and we don't have enough tools for that. Wait, does that say toilet? Hold up. Did I goof again? Uh, crew, science, no, facility. I did. Production. Item. 
tool facility. Uh, I hope I hope I'm not too late for this. Hope I'm not too late for this. This is bad environment catching. Let's see, he's. No, it should be not enough build tools, not enough build tools. See, I think I, I've, I've had a problem, guys. I think I've already messed up again. And it was a misclick that did it. Oh, okay, I think we might be all right. All right, I think we're, I think we're getting there. Okay, so we made a mistake when we built the toilet. Um, clearly, our guys need to, you know, do their business. But uh, the game was like, ah, what do you know, Mag? All right. Oh, we had an accident. But hopefully we'll get that fixed. Okay, it's fine. We're, we're good with this. We're good with this. We know there's no place to rest, but as soon as we get the tools facility built, we should be good. And that's the way this game works. It's all about chaining these things together. Uh, create optimal gas conditions. Build life support. Build CO2 hazardous gas cover. So we need to do that in just a little bit. Um, these guys are... See Giovanni? Look at that. He's, he's, he's tired. He doesn't have a place to go. So this is the oxygen. All right. Building tools working. See, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right. So Giovanni's still the only one that's cold. Everyone else is doing all right. Once we get this thing built. All right. So we need to build these beds next. So poor old uh, Giovanni can, can sleep. Giovanni. Um, conditions. Frostbite, low body temperature, awake, unconscious. All right, so he's unconscious. So this is exactly what's been going on since I started trying to play this game, guys. I, I, you know me, I like fiddly bits. I like builders. I like things that let me try to figure out what it is that I'm doing. I don't like looking at guides. I do like tutorials, right? Um, so... Again, this is not my typical genre of game. And right now, as it stands, Space Haven, as beautiful as it looks, I mean, I want to I want to point that out. Game looks amazing. Amazing. But... It, for the average player like myself, for the average gamer who is wanting to play a game like this, um, it, it's it's not really my, 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 my cup of tea. I mean, I've tried playing Scenario 1. This is the sixth or seventh time that I've tried to play it. And these guys are, you know, we, we got a dead dude. we still got no place to rest. Um, for Giovanni right he's down and i'm not sure what i can do to fix that now 
I do know that this is a Kickstarter game. I've been re I received a key uh, again two months back to tinker around with it, play with it, and say what I think about it in its current state. I do not think that this game is ready for the masses. I, I think it's absolutely ready for players like someone like Alienated One who wants to play the game. Um, it, it's the genre, not this game specifically. Um, he's currently got a lot on his plate. Uh, I don't think it's for players like me who really aren't um, familiar with the gameplay. Because it, you know, we, we, this is, this is, you know, this is the first game. You know, this is the first scenario. This is what you should be playing right out the gate. That's what that tells me. That's what it indicates to me. Um, so we, we finally got a place to rest, right? It only costs us a crew member. Um, and this guy is, see, spacesuit fatigue. I've been in a spacesuit all the time. It really sucks. Okay, sure. Uh, he's awake. Um, he's, you know, he, he's working. He's feeling hungry. Uh, these are things that I would expect that a tutorial-style uh, system being built out would be very good. Um, but as it stands, I have, again, I've, I've went through this game. I've played this game. Um... doing math in my head i've played this game for close to about four hours now and it's been over the course of two months sitting down it, it leads to frustration for me personally now, like i said the game looked fun it looked interesting it looked like a, a macromanagey kind of uh, tutorial uh, city builder kind of thing but in space and you know we played meeple station we had fun with meeple station um so if i could have meeple station with these graphics mwah, i mean it'd be beautiful it'd be amazing but unfortunately it's not so this particular game right now is again it's in kickstarter it's not early access anywhere uh we're getting told again we have environmental conditions low body temperature uh why is that we we have this we have this heat regulator it showed us that it had you know setting 22 current 21 17 it's bouncing back and forth maybe we have to build more than one of these things even though when we were building one, it seemed to indicate the effective range was the whole entire floor. I, I don't know. That's, that's the problem. I don't know. The game does not play intuitively for me. Now, if this is your jam, if this is your kind of game, absolutely go for it. But right now, uh, I receive the game for free. I, I always want to let you guys know about that when I do these reviews. I, even though I received it for free, I personally can't recommend it to anybody. I, uh, it just, it does not play well to me. It, it does not. And I, again, and that's part of the reason why it take two months for me to, to get this out there. Uh, you know, I, and I feel bad about it, but unfortunately i also feel bad playing the game in general it doesn't flow well it makes me kind of nervous and we are you know we had a crew member die this is the longest i've actually ever survived in this particular game um and we accidentally you know built a toilet in the toilet you know it's there for people to use if they need and uh yeah so i oh all in all i have to say probably not something I can recommend to anybody out here. But yeah, um, you know, it's got some really cool, cool stuff in it. I mean, and the help, you know, it, if it populated, it would be great. <laughs> um, but it's not. And I'm not on the Kickstarter, right? So the heaps of information I'd expect the Kickstarter to have is not accessible to me. So maybe it's better if you got the Kickstarter. But, guys, uh, this has been Space Haven. Great music, great graphics, uh, great animation. Just really bad general gameplay at this point. So hopefully, if you're looking at, for this particular game, uh, we'll revisit it you know, much later in the future once it's out, hopefully. And uh, maybe, maybe, it'll, uh, maybe it'll get better, you know? I really was looking forward to it. I was thinking maybe we got something like Satisfactory on a, uh, a team builder scale, but sadly we didn't. But yeah, hopefully this will help you guys when uh, thinking about a game to play and your next decision. 
this has been another game magnified take care